Love yours. This thing is like better than yours. No such thing. You gonna need a pair of boots i got mine from walmart you can get them from whatever location you want to as long as they look like this i prefer the boots with the lines and also with the threaded piece at the bottom and then you're gonna need some masking tape it don't matter the brand just make sure it's the masking tape i got mine from walmart you're gonna need a blade pencil that's not really what it's called but if you type it in on google it's gonna pop right up Everything gonna be listed down in the description box, y'all, because I forgot some of the terms for this stuff. I almost forgot to add this in here, just like I almost just dropped it, but make sure y'all have one of these. Then you need to make sure you got some scissors and some fabric glue. And they ain't gonna count. When I did mine, y'all, I used the hot glue gun, and it lasts me some years. But, you know, I'm making this for somebody else, so I'm gonna do it the proper way. But if you use any other glue, the method will literally still be the same. And, of course, you're gonna need you some fur okay y'all i'm sorry i'm tired i'm running out but not for real you're gonna get you some fur now let's get into the video so first thing first you're gonna use this masking tape to basically make an outline of the boot and y'all this is my first time doing this method making the boots and i had a few trials and errors in this video but i think i'm gonna just keep it in here because y'all might have the same trials and errors and if you don't see me how the trials and errors then how you gonna know how to fix it you feel me okay yeah so when doing this part, you want to make sure the tape is long enough to go from one end to the other. You really want it to be like longer than the boot itself. And then that first piece of tape that you put on there, you need to make sure it's covering the front part too. And the reason for that is because you see how I'm pushing it down on the edges. Yeah, that's going to play a major role in making these boots. And also you want to make sure you overlap the tape when you're putting it on there. And that's because we basically just trying to make like a big old sticker. Like when we pull it off, you want it to be stuck together. So make sure you overlap it. I forgot to explain this part to y'all. This finna come up right here. So you remember in the beginning of the video, I was like, you want to make sure you get the boots that got the lines. These are the lines that I'm talking about. And then I also said the threaded piece at the bottom. That's the threaded piece I was talking about. If you gluing the boot, you really, the bottom don't really matter. But if you sewing the fur on, then you need to make sure you got this type of bottom. Because sometimes it be rubber and you can't put no needle through no rubber. Like you can, but no, we ain't doing that. You want to have the boots like, this is because when you're making the fur boots you do everything in a section like the front part is one section and then the back part right here is another section and then the top of the back part right here gonna be a section and then the top of the front part gonna be a section so you're gonna have four sections all together all right now back to the tape so you're gonna put the tape going up the front of the shoe like this and i wanted to record this part because this part is kind of tricky i don't know why my boot was doing that little funny shape thing just bend it work the boot don't let the boot work you okay so even though the lines separate the different sections for the boot pieces that we're making it's okay to put the tape over the line because we are going to go in and cut out the shape of the boot you know what i'm saying so when you get up here to this part place the tape as close to the line as you can if it goes over a little bit then that's okay because we're gonna cut it and i've moved the placement of the tape because the first placement was really really wrinkly you don't want it to be that wrinkly because you need it to be as flat as possible to get that accurate size of the shape then you're gonna go in and add tape going up the side and like i said it's okay if it goes over the lines because we're gonna cut it and when doing this you want to make sure you um like indent the indent the creases or whatever that way when it's time to draw the out line you won't struggle to separate the sections and this is how your front sections should be looking and if it don't look exactly like mine i promise you it's okay you just want to make sure it's all covered up and once you have it all covered up you're going to get your sharpie and draw the outline of the boot and when drawing it you want to make sure you go behind the lines you see that line right there make sure you go behind the line because it's better to have more fur then not enough fur you can always go in and cut excess fur off versus add the fur i mean you can add it in but that'd be too much and if you don't know how to trace lines like me <laughs> it's okay baby just be patient with yourself we're gonna get it we're gonna get it i promise you we're gonna get it this is how we should be looking now we're gonna get our blade pencil <laughs> and cut out the outline but before you start, I do want to say, if you don't really have nails, I would suggest you pull all of the tape off and then cut it with scissors. Just keep watching and y'all will see why I said it. You get it this part, pull that bad boy back and get to work. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. Once you got the entire outline cut out, you're just going to pull it off just like this.
after pulling all that off now it's time to pull the entire section off and i try to go in and kind of like merge it together for real for real so that way this the tape can be like sticking together i also labeled my section so i don't get them mixed up i put bl for bottom front and now we finna just pull it off and y'all when you doing this take your time take your time y'all take your time because the tape will come apart while you pulling it off so be gentle and be patient while you're doing this because and i oh you see hold on i'm gonna go back to it see and if it split all you gotta do is just pick that piece up and then boom grab it stick it back together because you want to make sure you keep the shape you don't want to mess up the shape of it because this is your outline for the boot now moving on to the next section which is the bottom of the back part i like to line up with this piece right here so i can have something to help me separate the sections and i ain't gonna cap y'all we really already done got the hard part of the way like the front part is the hardest part so take a breather now let's get into it and y'all don't judge me for what i'm about to do baby i don't play i get down when it comes to my craft i'm gonna use any and everything to make it work baby even if that's my feet you hear me but go ahead and add your tape and make sure your tape is covering the parts that separate your different sections also don't forget to make the tape overlap make sure the bottom piece is coming over the outsole like this because you need it long enough to be able to cut and then go in and do the indents because we got to do the outline and the rest of the steps for the outlining is really going to be the same so i'm not going to talk as much just remember to go on the outside of the lining because more is always better than less so yeah i'm gonna just let y'all watch i'll be back Now I'm moving to the front section and I'm finna show y'all which way not to tape the front section. You don't want to tape it vertically like this, which is up and down because for some reason taping it like this made it harder to pull off. So don't tape it like this. You want to tape it. <laughs> y'all, the video was going so fast. That caught me off guard. <laughs> but you want to tape it. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and fix that. But you want to tape it horizontally like this. Don't forget to make sure it's longer than the lining that separate the different sections. See how I got that tape longer than that line right there? Make sure it's the same way. Oh yeah, I did want y'all to see this part. So when it's time to cut the outline out and you get to the top part, just cut it. You can use some scissors or you can use your little blade pencil. You see, I was trying to figure it out. Use whatever works best for you. I realized that pulling from where all the short side of the tape connects makes it easier to pull off versus pulling the other way you get what i'm saying like all the tape is connected right there so it's like once i get the end up it ain't gonna come apart versus if i pull it down it one tape can come off then the other tape can come off you see how it just split all the tape could possibly come off pulling down like that one by one all right so with the top front part i always start at the bottom like this right here and what you're gonna do is split the tape into three sections because baby you're trying to get this tape over this little crease part will scratch you if you let it And once you get that crease part covered up, you just do the same method going up and make sure you cover every part of the boot. You see how I got that little piece of boot showing? You're going to go in and cover it. And it don't matter how small you cut it, none of that. As long as you make all the tape connect, it's going to come off like a bit sticker anyway. So just make sure you have every piece of tape touching another piece of tape.
Now it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. So what we about to do now is trace those outlines that we just created onto the fabric. But before you do that, you need to make sure that your fur is going upward. So when you put the fur on your boots, it fall downwards and your boots will look like the ones on the left and not the right. And if you have longer fur, then you will be able to tell the difference. But my fur is short, so you can't really tell the difference. All right, so now we're just gonna flip the fur over. <laughs> We're just gonna flip the fur over and make sure the fur is still going the direction that you want it to go. So just flip it over. Don't get the turning and swishing and do 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 do. It look like I'm doing that, but don't do that. Just flip it for real, for real. OMG, y'all, and make sure you keep those pieces away from each other, bro, because they will get stuck together. This blew me so bad. Now let's get the tracing. So you're gonna get the piece. I always start with my front piece, my bottom front piece, and lay it face down. So that means the sticky part need to be up. And then you just literally trace it. You don't gotta be perfect, but you do need to try to keep that shape because don't forget, this is the outline for the boot. Oh yeah, before you start tracing, you need to size it to your boot and make sure it is the right size. When tracing, I always make it a tad bit bigger because like I said, more is always better than less. When you size it or whatever, that'll also determine like how much bigger you need to make it. Now I'm finna go ahead and cut my bottom two pieces out. And I glue my two bottom pieces down first. That way, if my sizing is a little off, I can always fix it with my top pieces. When you get done, cut and pull all the excess fur off of the edges. Before I glue the fur down, I always size it out and make sure everything looking good and like it's gonna fit. When gluing it down, I always start with the front center and you make sure you put the glue around the edges for sure, for sure. Like the edges have to line up and that's why I see I pull them feet out, baby. When I pull them feet out, I'm dead serious. I'm not playing them locked in. But you see how I got it on there? How I got the edge all the way to the tilt like that to where you can't even see the boot. So you want to make sure your edges is like this. Like you don't want no boot showing at the edges. And then I just do it section by section, but that's enough talking. I'm going to just let y'all watch. One more thing, make sure you pressing the fabric down into the glue so it's thick. Like you don't want it to go nowhere. Yeah. All right. Bye. Before moving on to the next section, make sure y'all go around the edges and make sure everything glued down. I thought I was done and look at this big old piece that I still had left. Yeah, so make sure you check before you move on to the next section. It's what I meant by sizing with the outline paper. You see how I'm sizing it and now I can see like, okay, I'm gonna need more fabric on the side. And because my outline piece was smaller than the boot, 
I just drew my outline on the fabric bigger than the actual outline piece that I got. Bruh, tell me why I got the tape stuck again. Like, I cannot put emphasis on this enough. Keep the tape away from each other, bruh. And I just did not have the energy to remake an outline, bruh. So I put out my handy dandy measuring tape. I just started measuring the boots. And I was like, okay, I'ma just put the measurements down on the fabric. And we just finna make it do what it do. I feel like this happened just to show y'all, like, if y'all let that tape get stuck together, bruh, you're gonna be stressed out, okay? So, for real, for real, keep your sections away from each other because they will get stuck together. And once tape gets stuck, this tape, baby, is over with. Look, I don't even know what to do, y'all. <laughs> I was stressed out. Oh my goodness, I was so stressed. I'm gonna just skip this part, bruh. Y'all should know how to draw the outline by now from my other clips. And if you don't, just rewind it back. It's the same thing. Y'all had um, went back in my clips and looked at a picture of um, how it was shaped and I drew it out like that. I said I was going to delete this, but I decided to keep it in here because this might happen to y'all. I hope it don't, but it could. And I just want to show y'all, like, keep going, bro. I ain't going to count. I did have to take a breather. I had to fall back for a second because, baby, who? Mm. But, yeah, stuff happened. It happened to us all. So don't let nothing discourage you from doing what you're going to do. Just be patient with yourself. It's okay to take breathers. That's what I'm learning. If you need to stop and take a breather, stop and take a breather, baby. That shoe going to be right there, right along with that fabric. So I got my little fur cut out or whatever. And, of course, it's not the right shape because I kind of eyeballed it. <laughs> so in these next few clips, y'all basically just going to see me adding, like, fabric pieces in, like a puzzle piece and just filling in the spots oh yeah and i'm also using a different type of glue because that e6000 it wasn't drying fast enough for me and i didn't really like it like that i mean it was some good glue but it just wasn't drying fast enough for me this gorilla glue i mean it still be wet too but it i don't know it kind of was a difference i don't really know what the difference was for real for real but me personally i like the gorilla glue better than the e6000 and i'm gonna post a picture right here so y'all can see what type of um, glue I used. And like I said, everything will be in the description box. So make sure you go down and read that. I'm going through and making sure I don't see no piece of the boot. And if I do, then I just add some fur to the spots that the boot is showing. When you're done gluing all the fur on the boot, you want to make sure you go around the edges of the top of the boot and glue the fur down. But if it's too short, like you see mine is too short, you can go in and add fur. And when you do this, you want to make sure the fur is turned the right way because if it's turned down, then it's going to look like this. So make sure it's turned up so it can flow outward. And make sure your piece is thick enough to cover the entire brown part right there. Because we don't want no boot showing at all. We trying to make it look like the fur coming straight out the boot. You feel me? Like, yeah. They came out so cute, y'all. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can be locked in with the vibes. Love y'all. Bye.